I've been meaning to start a series on this for some time, and this is just one of the things I haven't gotten around to yet. And, of course, I'm speaking about Linux Lite. And what you're seeing on the display here is actually my desktop that is fully tweaked and pimped out to my liking. And I'm able to do all kinds of cool things. I can play games, I can do all my video editing, and even uh, have uh, other fun with my operating system. This operating system is the epitome of everything that I couldn't do in Windows. I absolutely love this operating system. And so I thought this would be appropriate to contribute something back to the Linux distro community for this uh, wonderful achievement by putting together a video series on this. So Linux Lite Learning Part 1 Introduction and Installation begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Let's begin. Uh, first, you're going to see on the screen here, I have some documentation up. This may be very helpful for those of you who have never used a Linux distribution before. This will give you some options for downloading and burning that image to a CD or a USB drive. And all the instructions are given here on this website, and I have a link in the show notes for you to check this out. Now, because I'm doing all the exercises in this series in a virtual machine rather than an actual machine. I don't have the extra hardware to spare. Uh, I figured I would point this out to you, some of the things that you can do. Now, before installing, obviously, you got to get this on a CD. Well, there are some links to some free Windows software you can download onto your Windows machine that will make it easy for you to burn uh, a DVD. You have a Burn Aware Free CD Burner XP, which happened to be one of my favorite CD burners for Windows. And then Image Burn, or IMG Burn. And basically, it just tells you exactly what you need to do once you have these programs installed. You can also use UNet Boot. And there is a link to the where you can download this, and this will allow you to take that image and burn it to a writable USB disk. This is only for those of you who have uh, computers that are able to boot from a USB drive. Installation is a lot faster if you run this from a USB drive rather than a DVD drive. Okay, and then instructions are also provided uh, for writing a Linux Lite ISO to USB using a terminal in Linux. Now, if you don't have a USB boot option and you have older hardware, this handy little gem here uh, called Plop, P-L-O-P Linux, is a live CD that you can run, which will allow you to boot from the USB, even though your BIOS doesn't support it. And right here is a link to getting uh, that to work for you. I have tried this myself. And believe me, folks, it does work. When you first boot your live DVD, you will be presented with this screen. And with an automatic countdown, it will automatically start Linux Lite. In this case, I've installed the 32-bit PAE version 106. Now, during this tutorial series, for those of you who are running the 64-bit edition, I will give you hints on things you will need to do to uh, complete some of the tutorials in this series. Namely, you may need to get the IA32 libs installed, and I will actually do a tutorial on that in, in a later part of this series. So once you are booted in your system, you will want to select the install icon on your desktop, and once you do so, you will be presented with this dialog where you will uh, select your language and then press continue. Then, for best results, you want to make sure that you have at least 5.9 gigs of available drive space, that you're plugged into a power source, that you're connected to the internet. You may also want to download updates while installing, and of course, install third-party software. This will include um, proprietary audio decoding technology, such as uh, MPEG Layer 3, and of course, the ability to play DVDs. 
Okay, and then you will select your installation type. In my case, since this is a virtual environment, I chose to erase the entire disk and install uh, Linux Lite. However, if you are planning to dual boot, you can select to install alongside uh, Windows if you wish. Once you have made your selection, just press continue. Okay, then you are presented with this screen. If you chose to install alongside Windows before continuing, the left side will represent the amount of space allocated to Windows, and the right will represent the space uh, allocated to Linux Lite. And there will be a bar that you can slide back and forth. I chose to just write this entirely to my hard drive. I'm no longer using Windows, so I could not do this in a demonstration for you guys. Because, uh, yep, <laughs> I love Linux so much, I finally just said, that's it, no more Windows. I don't even have this running in a virtual environment any longer. Okay, then you are prompted with your time zone. You'll need to select which time zone you are in and then press continue. Then, of course, you will from here you will choose your keyboard layout. I'm in the United States using an English United States keyboard. There is a place where you can uh, type in characters to make sure that everything is okay. Once you're done, just press continue. Okay, and then of course, you will type in your name, you will pick in a username in lowercase characters, and then you will type in a password. You have the option to log in automatically or uh, require your password to log in. You can even select this to encrypt your home folder if you wish and then you will simply press continue. Then you are presented with a slideshow which will tell you how Linux Lite will change your life. By producing an easy to use Linux based operating system, we hope that people will discover just how simple it can be to use Linux Lite. Linux Lite is free for everyone to use and share and is particularly suited for those trying a Linux based operating system for the first time. In this release, we bring you more software choices, easier network configuration, scanner, Bluetooth, USB modem support, and our most comprehensive help and support manual today. Let me tell you what, folks, if I can get my 70-year-old mother using this, anybody can use it. What's new? Our most feature-packed release to date. We've relied heavily on feedback from the community to help guide the development of Linux Lite 106. New features include more network support, a system report tool to help troubleshoot problems, support for scanners, Bluetooth, and a brand new login screen. Gaming on Linux Lite continues with the popular Steam client. With our low resource operating system, we offer you the best possible platform for gaming in Linux with plenty of system resources at your disposal. We've also added a shortcut to the Humble Bundle website. Now, in order to keep uh, Linux Lite small enough to fit on a CD, uh, Voltam, the developer, decided not to include Steam in the release because the IA32 libs does use a lot of file space. But the thing is, in the 64-bit release, there is a link, I believe, that will allow you to install Steam at a later time. Help and support. That's the page we just looked at earlier. This version of Linux Lite brings our most comprehensive system support to date. You have the latest version of our help and support manual on the menu every time you run install updates, ensuring you always have the latest help just a mouse click away. If you prefer, you can still get help via the forums, Mumble, or on IRC. And you never know, if you hop in on Mumble or IRC, you might just see me there. Multimedia. VLC Media Player is a one-stop shop for all your multimedia playback needs. In this release, we also include support for some of your iDevices. Install this feature via menu system. Install additional software. Install iPod Manager. Please check with gtkpod.org for a list of currently supported devices. Networking with Windows. With this release, we've made it even easier for you to access your Windows shares across the network. Click on Menu, System, Network, Share, Settings, and follow the on-screen instructions for a trouble-free networking setup experience. You browse the Internet, send email. Linux Lite comes with Firefox with Flash support built right in. We also include the Thunderbird email client. If you prefer other browsers, such as Midori or Chromium, these are also available through the Synaptic Package Manager. I'm going to cover Synaptic in great detail because we're going to be doing updates with it. Office. 
LibreOffice is free office software packed with everything you need to create impressive documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. LibreOffice is compatible with many Microsoft file formats. We also include a PDF viewer. Linux Lite Shop. This is where you can get all your swag. So show off, show the world that you're running Linux Lite. Get your stickers, t-shirts, hats, and all that other fun stuff. Say, I need to start my own swag shop one of these days. Hey, what do you guys think? Should I do some swag and a couple of Linux mugs and stuff? Maybe one of these days I'll do it. All right. And then once installation is complete, you will be presented with this dialog right here that will um, tell you it's time to reboot your computer. All right. Once you've rebooted your computer, you are presented with this pretty sleek looking login screen. All right, all you need to do is just click your name and then type in your password to enter. And then it'll let you know that you've connected to the network and everything should be ready to go. I've already done a review on this distribution, so please be sure to check my channel so that you can get my initial impressions and have a look at all the software that's included on this. All right, now. In the uh, next episode that I do here, I'm going to cover help and support. I think that's the most important thing to help get you guys on the right track. That way, if you run into any problems or any issues whatsoever, you know, this is where you can go to get that support. I'm going to show you how to access us on IRC and on Mumble. Well, that's all for now. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.